more than a decade after it was released. Left 4 Dead 2 is getting one last update, and fans everywhere simply cannot wait. Thanks to the official announcement that was posted on their site, we've learned that they are soon releasing The Last Stand, the first piece of new content to be added to this first-person shooter game since their last update in 2012. Perhaps the most awesome thing about this update is that it is fan-made, created by the community for the community, according to the L4D team. While we eagerly wait for the official release of The Last Stand, now is the perfect time to get back into playing L4D2. Although the game is already loads of fun in its own, the modding community offers endless options to give the game a bit more oomph. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. On this episode, we have sorted through the thousands of L4D mods so that you won't have to anymore. Here are 15 of the bestest Left 4 Dead 2 mods that will transform the L4D2 experience for you. Make sure to stick around till the end of the video because what we have for number one is a campaign mod you shouldn't miss. Before we start, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more amazing videos. Let's start at number 15, Admin System. There are tons of L4D2 campaigns and scenario maps out there, and we'll get to those later. But before you explore those, you may want to give the Admin System mod a try first. You can think of it as God Mode for L4D2, where you are given control over everything going on in the game. You can assign weapons, spawn infected, or even kill survivors. Here, everything goes, so you can go ahead and experiment or maybe even create a completely customized game for you and your gaming buddies. At number 14, Terry Crews Tank. Yes, we know that playing L4D2 is meant to be a hair-rising experience. There's so much tension on set, and the foes are terrifying. But here is out for a second. How about transforming all the tanks so that they have Terry Crews' face and overly muscled body? Now that should take the scare out of your next tank encounter and would make for a good laugh. At number 13, Helm's Deep Fixed. This mod became so controversial that, for some time, it was removed from public access much to the fans' disappointment. Luckily for Lord of the Rings fans out there, the map has been fixed and is back up again. Here, you get to experience LOTR as this mod recreates Helm's Deep from inside out. It even has LOTR characters popping up. The mod also used to have the LOTR soundtrack playing in the background, but the music got the chop because of a copyright claim. Still, that's no reason to pass up the chance to fight off waves of zombies crashing against the gates of Helm's Deep. Think that crossover is cool? Just wait till you see what we have on number one. It's all kinds of creepy and 100% unsettling. But before that, here's another movie-inspired mod that made it to the list. At number 12, Die Scraper Redux. If the idea of blending Die Hard and The Walking Dead sounds like the perfect combination for you, then Die Scraper Redux should be the next mod on your list. Taking all the best elements from classic action and horror flicks, Die Scraper Redux gives you a fresh 4 map campaign to play through. Sure, it's not too big in the Unique Ideas department, but this mod has been through extensive testing, so you can expect a smooth experience. An even bigger franchise makes its way to Left 4 Dead at number 11, Star Wars Death Star Survival Map. Can you think of any Star Wars themed mod that doesn't work? Nope. No, you cannot, because there's something about Star Wars that just makes it a glorious crossover idea for any mod-compatible game. 
In this survival scenario mod, you are taken inside the Death Star where you have to shoot through hordes of stormtroopers or fight for your life with nothing but a lightsaber. Making it to number 10 is Nacht der Untoten. In this mod, we're traveling back in time as you are taken to World War II. Based mainly on the zombie map from Call of Duty World at War, this mod puts you in survival mode right smack in the middle of a Nazi zombie infested world. Apart from the awesome textures, it also packs some of the coolest features from the COD map. They've also added the barricading capability so you can board up passages to keep zombies away. Number 9. Devil Mountain If you ever get bored of the typical L4D cityscape, trade it in for a mountainside setting in Devil Mountain. This campaign mod takes you through suburban areas and caves packed in five carefully detailed maps. Want another change of scenery? Try out this other mod at number 8, Yama. Go even further away by installing the Yama campaign mod, which takes you all the way to Japan. With five different maps for you to play through, explore the zombie-infested back alleys of Tokyo, the apartment districts in Kobe, and the Kiyomizu Temple of Kyoto for a unique L4D2 experience. The next three mods are game crossovers, starting off with number 7, Knickknacks Map Mods. This one is for the Zelda fans out there. Modern Knickknack created a collection of map packs that are so detailed and so huge that you have to download them in two packs for you to get started. You may also want to try combining Knickknacks Death Mountain and Kokiri Forest with other Zelda-themed mods, like Cory the Fairy's collection of mods that equips you with the Master Sword, plays Zelda game sounds, and even casts Zelda as your teammate. Next up at number 6, Panic in Pallet Town. You got that right! This is the Pokemon Left 4 Dead crossover you never knew you needed! Finally, a 3D version of Pallet Town, complete with custom models, textures, and even music from the original Pokemon games. And then there's Deathcraft 2, making it to number 5. If earlier we had a pixelated Pallet Town turn 3D, this time the world of Left 4 Dead is modified to feature the signature blocked aesthetic that Minecraft is popular for. Fight through blocked zombies through a snow-filled block city using your block weapons. But if you don't like straying away too far from the traditional L4D scenery, this next one's for you. At number 4, Urban Flight. In the campaign mod Urban Flight, you fight through a burning city in single player, co-op, versus, or survival mode. Perhaps one of the best things about this campaign is that it also includes a scavenger hunt for 10 easter eggs scattered around its 4 maps. Only three other mods left on this list, and things are just about to get spookier. At number 3, Dark Wood. If you thought Love for Dead 2 was scary, wait till you install the Dark Wood mod. Inspired by some of the most famous horror franchises like Silent Hill, Fear, and Resident Evil, Dark Wood takes the L4D2 experience up a notch as it traps you into a small stretch of road in the dead of the night. You play through five maps as you explore woods, caves, and secret underground prisons. It also has easter eggs and secret weapons for you to discover. But perhaps one of the most popular campaign mods is number 2, Back to School. As far as campaign mods go, Back to School is one that true L4D2 fans cannot ignore. Its plot plays into the game, so it kind of feels like the L4D2 sequel we never got. You see the familiar faces of the four original survivors, but it's a whole new storyline and six new maps. It also features 10 new panic events, alternate models and textures, and so much more. It's like a completely fresh L4D2 legit update that it 
feels as if it deserves its own standalone release. If you're an L4D2 fan, you're probably shocked that Back to School didn't make it to number one, right? But if it didn't, so which mod did? At number one, Left for Teletubbies Official. Okay, before we start, we probably should warn you that this might ruin your childhood. Left for Teletubbies manages to take these cute, colorful creatures from our younger years and turn them into creepy monsters, going after you with their blank stares and bleeding eyes. Okay, seriously, I'm getting goosebumps just looking at them. They look like they came straight out of a child's nightmare. So if you're into mods with a disturbing slant, then you can do no worse than this. Which of these mods are you dying to try next? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you're really into horror games, check out our video on the 10 scariest video game bosses. Let's see just how many of them you can defeat without switching the lights on. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the bestest and make sure to hit the notification bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next bestest video.